Hi guys, this is Tracy from Lavinia Stamps and welcome to another demonstration. We have been using uh, texture paste, so something I've not used for such a long time and I've forgotten how much fun it really is. Especially now we've got our brushes, our mica mists, we've got our watercolour card and wow, they work so so well together. I've got some samples here so just using the stencils, the, the texture paste and then just spritz in some of the micas you get this fantastic effect and then I've just um, popped some of our new stickers over the top. I've done a similar thing here, uh, the same stencil just using some different colours and I've gone around the edge using some of our metallic gilding flakes which I think just really adds something else to it as well. This is definitely one of my favourites. Um, again, using one of our stencils, giving us that lovely um, height so that when we spray the micas, uh, I hope you can see that all the micas sat in between all that lovely detail. This is just another one, another background with a texture. And this time I've used one of our stencil pencil stickers to create a lovely leaf. Cut that out and put that over the top. Oh yes, we've got some words here as well. So one of our stencils, or two of our stencils have got words. And all I did was using the paste, so you can see that there's some nice height in that spritzed over the top with brusho and mica sprays and then that gives us that lovely three-dimensional word which again you can just cut out you could um, add some glitter add some metallic gilding flakes just to enhance that even more and then just use that on top of your card in your scrapbooking the possibilities are really quite endless. This was using one of our leaf stencils and the texture paste and that's the one I'm going to be doing today. So I've got my leaf stencil. Now have some water close by so that when you're finished with your stencil just pop that into the water and then it will just wipe off. Obviously if it dries on it it's going to be a little bit um, tougher to get off. So this texture paste I chose, it's a really fine, fine texture. There's lots of different ones on the market and you know people like them for different reasons. I've just chosen this one for the, for the technique that I'm using today. So I just like it because it's nice and fine and it's thick but not too thick and also when I spritz over the top the, um, the definition, the height stays quite white um, and I quite like that as well I'm just going to go just around the edge just picking up any of the excess that in some water and then we're just going to lift this now and there it is pop that in water and there is your leaf and I think that is just great that height on that is lovely so I have got a dry one so I've got a load of brushes here in front of me um, let's go with some crimson and let's go with some ultramarine. You can always add more colour as you go along so if you feel there isn't enough colour then just add a little bit more. I've got my water spritzer here as well just to douse the colour down if it's too much equally so I've got um, the Chestnut Bay 
uh, mica mist here as well. So I'm just going to give that a shake and I'm going to pop that over the top. Okay, and now I've got my water. So let's just thin that out. And just move the card around until you're happy with where the colours are sitting. And once you're happy with the way the colours are sitting, then use your heat gun and just dry that off. So I've just trimmed that down now. And as I say, all I'm going to do is pop our glue pen in between all the lines. First of all, I'm just going to go around the edge. Now you don't have to think too much about where you're going, just let the pen follow the gaps. We just want a little bit of, as I say, the gilding flakes just to make it pop. I'm going to go in between these lines as well. So let's just make sure that that's dry so that it's tacky. And then we're going to take some gilding flakes and just pop those over the top. Just working my finger into all those little areas where we pop the glue pen. As I said before, there's no real easy way of doing this, you just rub it in over the top. gather up those bits, pop that back in and then taking the stencil brush I'm just going to rub any excess off and you can see it's just left that lovely thread of copper running through that leaf which I think looks fabulous. So let's just pop these little bits all back in so we can use those again and again. So now I would just literally stamp on some words. So I've got my twilight and I've got a, a nice verse here going to ink that up. I'm going to take off. Let's just try it without first. Yeah, I don't want it too strong in colour. So that's why I'm taking off first. So let's work our way up down the edge there. Now it's quite dark down here, so 
I'm going to just stamp straight over the top. And again this side. Right, so Okay, so I would literally just mount up now on another piece of card and um, maybe add another sentiment. I don't know. I just wanted to share that technique with you more than uh, anything, just to give you an idea what you can do with this uh, texture paste. It is so much fun. Okay, guys, well, that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining me and I hope it's inspired you to have a go yourselves. You take care and I'll see you very soon. Bye for now.